Hey, what's up, it's Snow. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlogs. Cassette Cartage. And today we are blasting some Paul Bearer, Sorrow and Extinction on 20 Bucks Spin Records. I love their first album. This is so fucking good. Like, along with Foundations of Burden, I have not actually heard the full album, the new one, all the way through yet. So I can't really speak on it, but I heard it's less doomy and more proggy, so yeah, I don't know. I'll check it out though, but look at that fucking artwork, and this is another one of those. I threw the Seaside on, this is a double LP, but comes on this really cool, like, splatter type, you know, looks like somebody spilled something on it. It's badass. I, I really think it's fucking, it looks sick. But again, matches the artwork and everything. Just, yeah, drop out of life. Look at those fucking, I love the artwork on this. But I could go on talking about this all day. Check out my review of this a couple months ago probably. But anyways, I would like to go into Transylvanian Tapes waning still hours. And this is not your average Transylvanian tapes release. I'm just gonna throw that out there from the fucking start. This is pretty much probably and on a cool red translucent tape. And this is probably honestly my least favorite of uh, the Transylvanian tapes. Again, like I was saying, I'm saving the best one in my ears and mine, <laughs> I'm saving that one for last because it's a fucking banger. And uh, this pretty much, it's it goes for this post-rock feel, but at the same time adds a lot of elements of doom, but also good cop, bad cop vocals, which seriously ruin this album for me. It takes me out of the atmosphere and like the shoegazy pop elements that, you know, this band's really, really good at. Like, that's what I liked the most about this re release was, you know, the shoegazy um, and like the riffs and stuff. Like, just the vibe and the riffs were amazing. But then when the vocals kicked in, I really liked the clean singing. But then this dude starts like doing gutturals and it's just, it doesn't work. Like it's just like some bands pull it off like and it works awesome like Isis. And you can hear an Isis fucking, they definitely, you know, liked Isis when Isis was around. I'm talking about the band, not the terrorist group. But um, also there's tons of Jezu worship on here. And again, it just, if you're a fan of Jezu, like, this is just kind of, um, you know, an, a nice appetizer and something a little bit different. If you're into hearing, you know, something different that isn't like blast beats and, you know, just shit like that, then, you know, maybe this is up your alley. But I, I just feel like there's better bands in this, like, you know, type of subgenre that just do this a little bit better, like Jezu, for example, and then you have like a heavier version of Jezu, which is the Angelic Process, R.I.P. That band is so fucking good, heavy, just absolutely crushing shoegaze, like, but with these just amazing, like, post metal elements and like I said, like the atmosphere's great on here. It's just the vocals really, really take me out of it. But you have seven tracks of like droney shoegaze. It's really heavy on atmosphere, but the vocals, it just takes me out of it. Aside from the clean female vocals, they're fucking magnificent. If the whole thing was done with the female vocals, I'd be like, fuck yeah, like this is really, really good. But it just fell a little bit flat to me. I mean, you guys might like it, but 
I, I just wasn't really feeling it as much as I thought I was going to when I first listened to the opening track. I was like, hey, this sounds pretty cool. But then the further I got along, I was just like, this is kind of, you know, it's whatever. It's kind of, kind of boring, actually. But, uh, you have, uh, seven tracks. You have Binary, the, uh, Onlyest Ones, Shadow on the Seawall, which is, in my opinion, the best and strongest track on this album. Transdimensional Inclusion, Incursion, sorry. Um, sorry. Ulceri, Lift Your Veil, and Never Still the Whip. So, yeah, you have two sides of some shoegazy post-metal. And if that's your thing, then this is definitely worth a listen. And I really, you know, like, I, especially back around, like, 2005, huge fan of, like, uh, Rosetta and, like, a bunch of those, like, Neurisis bands, like, Russian Circles when they first came out, Pelican, etc. They fell under this category that <laughs> Decibel termed, Nur Isis, where you pretty much just rip off Isis and Neurosis, and you know, tons of bands were doing it at the time. Cold of Luna does it the best, in my opinion, and they put out an amazing release with uh, Julia Christmas from um, Made Out of Babies, and uh, I forget her other pro Battle of Mice. That was an amazing project, but. Yeah, like the magic of like albums like, uh, I forget what the name of that Battle of Mice album was, but like when it came to post metal, it was right on the fucking nose. There's actually a lot that reminds me of Nadja on here as well, especially like with some of the clean vocals, but it's just not as haunting, not as heavy. It's just a little we like weird at times, like it kind of goes all over the place, but the one dude's vocals, like, he's probably in a bunch of other bands. I didn't really do my research on, like, what bands these guys are in. But this was recorded at Earth Tone uh, Studios. And, um, yeah, recorded, mixed, and mastered by Patrick Hills at Earth Tone Studios, Sacramento, California, August to November 2016. And this came out. February 2017 and they have a couple other full lengths besides this one um, I'll put their band camp link below along with the Transylvanian tapes because you can get the CD version from the band and the cassette version from Transylvanian tapes and I think you get different colored artwork I'm not a hundred percent sure and I, I do like the cover art and it is done by um, where did I see his name? Oh, Benjamin Carpita. And yeah, like I said, this, this is pretty much, um, you're getting just some post metal -y, you know, semi-mediocre. It, it is what it is, you know? You either like it or you're not gonna like it. But to me, I just it just kind of fell flat a little bit and uh you know if you're into post metal and stuff like that i would probably you know at least give this a listen because you might like it but if um you know you're pretty picky with your post metal like myself like i'm very very picky with that stuff like to me neurosis does it the best like nobody fucks with neurosis and that's it that like to me that right now with Isis not being around, I mean, Sumac, holy fucking shit. If you have not heard Aaron Turner's project, Sumac, I don't even know who else is in it, but yo, amazing. They put out a couple of releases so far, but just wow. But this is um, waning still hours on Transylvanian tapes. And, um, yeah, I will put the link below. If you're a fan of uh, post-metal, shoegaze, and stuff, you know, you might like this. But if you're expecting, like, some Death Heaven, Alceste-type stuff, 
Nah, th th this is, um, you know, it's really just, it it's weird. I can't even really explain it because it mixes, like, legit, like, death metal and doom to, uh, like, this pop-sensible vibe, and it's really, really strange at times, but, you know, that's what's cool about stuff like this. It's experimental, and I understand that going in. And when I listened to this, I knew, like, from the start. I was like, all right, this is a post-metal band. Let's see what they fucking do. And, yeah, it just wasn't my cup of tea, and it happens sometimes. But it might be, you know, up your alley. So I will put the links below. And, uh, yeah, waning still hours on Transylvanian tapes. And I'm not sure who put out the CD version. But I will put their band camp below. Here's the J card and again, translucent red tape and you have the lyrics inside. And yeah, like I said, pretty much the highlight on here is the riffs and the female vocals when they use them. Because yeah, the, the female who does the vocals on here is magnificent. She has a beautiful voice and is honestly the highlight of this, like I said, along with the riffing. And yeah, this is um, waning still hours. I'm gonna have to give it a 7.5 out of 10 just because it didn't really, you know, fucking grab me by the balls and be like, yo, listen to me a little more. Like, I listened to this three times and I was a little bored. So, sorry, but uh, hey, wait till you tomorrow and uh yeah we are listening to paul bearer sorrow and extinction debut album on 20 bucks spin just look at that fucking artwork again gorgeous stuff and yeah as always thanks for watching you guys are the fucking best who saw the new game of thrones trailer by the way oh my god like holy shit it's almost time, and tonight, if you are around the Delaware County area, they're having metal night at this shitty sports bar, like, five minutes up the road, Rumpelstiltskin Grinder is playing with Orcus, and Rumpel, Rumpelstiltskin Grinder used to be on Relapse Records, and, uh, they play some pretty fun, like, party thrash, and, th like, they're actually really, really good live, and they're, they're really... They're decent on record, but live is where they fucking shine. They have a goofy name, and, you know, they orange and black attack. Like, yeah. So, thanks for watching, and as always, keep it fucking evil. Hails.